Hi there! Welcome to part 4 of Let's Play Wasteland on the Commodore 64. Um, at the, uh, in the last episode, what we had done is we had finished up with the uh, with High Pool and the, the uh, Rail Nomads. Uh, in this part, what we're going to do is we're going to take a, a little journey to the next starting area, or should I say a low-risk uh, experience grind, and that will be in the Ag Station. Here, though, we'll finish up uh, with the last little bit of the Rail Nomads. I've got a bottle, so I'll uh, I'll part with it for sure. Paragraph 46. You stare with utter disbelief as the snake squeezes vanish down his throat. The hobo smiles, his eyes glaze over, and he burps. Beware the man who has lived longer than the wasteland. Your oracle's eyes clear, and he smiles drunkenly. Now, since we don't have any more snake squeezins at the time, we'll just move off and check out the uh, the ag station. Because I hadn't known about the little thing about melee weapons, what I'm doing is I'm heading off to Quartz to uh, to buy axes. Like I said, that is until I found out that every um, every item which can be purposed as a melee weapon, namely the the pickaxe, the shovel, um, the axe, and the club, are all using the same damage dice. Now, there are a few. Uh, notable exceptions, but they are the uh, they are the uh, they're a little bit rare. And of course, later on, I'll uh, I'll uh, certainly point them out. Must have had to answer the phone.
first what we'll do is we'll take care of the uh, we'll take care of the uh, stuff we can sell right now cash is at a premium cash is at a premium Close now, you can hear the conversation of the men you saw when you came in. There's a short silence after each man voices his thoughts. They speak of uh, varmints who are impossible to kill. Varmints are stealing their food faster than ever before and it seems to be massing for a major attack. The simple weapons of the farmers are not enough to stop them. You have They have no idea what what to do. One of them jumps as he notice, notices you and they all turn to face you. A stocky man called Miguel approaches. In the shadow of enormous satellite dish tracking, in the, in the shadow of an enormous satellite tracking dish stands the old man. Over a hundred years old, he's still vigorous and bright of eye, although he rambles incoherently at times. Their farmers remove their hats as they approach and wait for him to speak, frowning deep in thought. He stares at what appears at what appear to be the remains of a fifteen-foot tall carrot. He'll a long shaft of broken metal in one hand to mumble something about wascally wabbits that he had to beat away with his best rake. Miguel explains, to you, explains that you have come to help. The old man studies your weapons and tells you that he doesn't think your pea shooters will do any good against the armored varmints. But you're welcome to try. If you succeed, 
he wants you to come back and see him. There is something he would like to show you. Free to roam the veggie field, you head toward the carrot patch. From a distance, you hear the old man warn you, watch out for Harry, the bunny master. Now, what I'll do here <coughs> is I'll horse around. Well, I won't, no, I won't really horse around. I mean, I'll certainly tag all of the uh, the different vegetables. And here is uh, the, here in this area, it is quite low risk, and it will it, it doesn't give you much experience, but it does. Um, can't do much with experience when you're dead, I guess. there there should be Harry the Bunny Master but we aren't gonna uh, we aren't gonna go there yet I want to still horse around a bit with the um, still want to horse around a bit with the rest of the area I do have one little regret however is the uh, I didn't uh, take the the path down the middle where you can get assaulted by the catapults obviously run by our nemesis spot in the corner is our um, that little spot in the corner down there is uh, the Warrens which we'll be checking out in the next uh, episode this might not be a bad spot to also um, improve my brawling if I should find it's a bit lacking again looking for the lockpick skill. What I'll do is I'll t attempt to open all the doors here.
So far we're not doing too bad. Then again, the bows aren't that difficult in this spot. Here we are in the carrot patch, getting ready to face our nemesis, Harry, the bunny master. I initially thought I had this all wrapped up and I thought it was going to be easy. Achievement. I have actually managed to achieve a greater or a more serious than unconscious um, health statistic. And it is my medic. So having um, a second medic certainly was a smart idea. Now, I'd imagine I could make it to High Pool if I had wanted to. Now, so far I've tried three times to revive Snake Vargas. That nine, I think.
just see it now. Hellraiser. How do I bandage? Now, luckily, I don't think time is passing, so I don't have to worry about his condition getting worse. All I have... Oh. I'm going to radio. See if I can't boost that statistic to, uh, to boot the to boost uh, Hellraiser's intelligence. Mind you, I'm going to have to boost his intelligence. I want to boost his intelligence anyway, but. At the moment, it would be uh, advantageous because the uh, medic is related to intelligence. Six. Well, it certainly is down from over 20. to rescue the uh, the rangers rangers now that I've managed to rescue the uh, major food supply we'll go to the merchant stand we'll uh, empty our inventory and after that what we'll do oh yeah as soon as I unlock those doors we'll head into the warrens after Now, if I can remember, there are some slightly more difficult monsters, but not monsters. So slightly more difficult rodents, but not uh, not inclined to give you the serious uh, health condition that we just managed to gain from Harry. keep two fruit because I seem to remember uh, needing those later on. But I'm only going to keep two because the rest are selling for something, for, are selling for a fairly good price. So what we'll do is we'll uh, as if we're 
finished with this part, so what I'll do is we'll investigate the uh, shack underneath the satellite dish and finally take a trip through the warrens. So thank you very much for taking the time to, to view, and we'll be seeing you in the next episode. Thanks very much for watching.